hi everyone i hope and trust that you are keeping really well even as we are winding up this year 2020 with that in mind i was just reflecting you know on that parable where jesus was talking about two different type of builders one builder built his house upon the rock and another builder built his house upon the sand and he was just encouraging his disciples and encouraging people that if we hear his word and do not apply it in our lives we are like that uh, builder who built his house upon the sand but if we hear his word and we apply it in our lives we are like that wise builder who built his house upon the rock so we all know that this year has quite been has been quite challenging for many people it's been unpredictable it's been chaotic and we've all been affected one way or the other but there is one thing about the word of god the word of god is powerful the word of god is alive and there is a reason why jesus encourages us to be anchored in his word so before i i read that passage of of scripture the few verses just to remind us about that parable i just want us as we are reflecting upon this year and looking forward to 2021 the future and beyond to ask ourselves is the word of god an anchor in my life is the word of God my solid foundation? What am I holding on to in life? What is that one thing that stabilizes me? Because uh, we cannot always control what, what happens outside. We cannot always complain what comes our way, what is externally. But if we've got something inside of us, something which stabilizes us we are able to withstand and to endure and to persevere almost anything almost anything so it's so important and crucial that as christians we ask ourselves and we examine ourselves is my life rooted in christ is jesus christ my anchor is the word of god the anchor of my soul so this is what the the scripture says okay it's from it's uh matthew 7 i will read from this i will start reading from verse 24. so jesus says therefore anyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock the rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds uh, came, blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall, because it had the foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams arose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. There is something which sort of uh, sticked out for me today as I was meditating on this, that we are not told that structurally go on the outside that these houses were any different. The only difference which is highlighted, which we are told, was the nature of the foundation. The first builder, the one that Jesus calls uh, the wise builder, he took his time to build his house on the rock, on a firm foundation. And then the second builder, whom Jesus calls a, a foolish builder, he didn't bother much at all with a foundation. He just grabbed whatever maybe was easy and accessible. He just built his house on sand. Maybe on the outside, these two houses, they looked the same. Why not tell that there were any difference? The only difference was highlighted when the, stro when the storms came, when the wind blew on, the same on these two houses. 
the first house because it was firm because it was secure because it was built on a foundation which was a rock was able to withstand it had something you know to anchor it something to hold it it didn't matter what kind of elements were out there it was able to withstand it was able to endure but the second house the same storms the same winds they beat upon that house but because nothing was stabilizing it nothing was holding it it fell and not only did it fall jesus says it came down with a great crash so it's the same with us we have to build our lives on the word of god we have to build our lives on jesus christ jesus christ is the word of god he has to be the anchor of our lives he has to be the anchor of our soul so that no matter what happens as this year had taught us no matter what comes our way we are able to remain standing we are able to endure but if we do not make the word of god our solid rock our firm foundation when the same elements come jesus says great will be the destruction in our lives we cannot always control what happens externally, what happens outside. But you and I as children of God, we have a choice. We have a responsibility that I am going to build my life, my whole life on the word of God. The word of God says the word is alive. The word is the source of life. So we have to live our lives on that firm foundation. It sustains us, it stabilizes us, it keeps us from falling. When we are told in Ephesians 6 that we have to put the full armor, you know, uh, one of the things that we have to put on as Christians, we are told is the belt of truth. What does a belt do? It keeps everything together, it keeps everything from falling, it stabilizes, it anchors. You need the word of God to stabilize you, to anchor you, to keep you from falling, for you to be able to withstand whatever it is that life will throw at you. So moving uh, into 2021, into the future, I just want to encourage you, my brother, my sister, make sure, make sure that the word of God is the anchor in your life. Make sure that you are fully anchored in Jesus Christ. God bless you and God loves you.